Hey guys, we're gonna change out uh, the bottom section and the number two section today. I'm gonna go through this real quick because I have very little battery power. So uh, first off, I'd like to get a couple pairs of vice grips. Um, take the door manual, you know, pull the rope on the machine. And I, pu I pull it up like a couple inches just enough like my, my foot sticks underneath it maybe just a little bit higher and then take a pair of vice grips and grip it underneath the number three roller because we're changing the number one and number two section okay so now that we got that um i like to take a small pair of grips and just don't don't Crimp, crimp down on the cable, you know, don't take it out of shape. Just fit those vice grips so they just kind of barely hang on to the cable. Just like that, okay? So what that's doing is that's adding weight to this cable. So when I take um, the tension uh, loose on that thing, you know, the cable's gonna stay tight around the drum I need to get one more pair of vice grips. Little bitty baby pair. Okay. Maybe a little tighter than that. I don't want them to fall off. Okay, so I got the grips on that cable like that. So now what we want to do is along the top here, the, the top of the second section, because we're changing the second section, bottom section. So we're going to take the screws out from underneath. Take the lock off. Okay. So now we have that row of screws out. So now what we want to do is grab some spring bars, stick it in, and push up. When you push up, see how it's dropping the door down like that? So we want to put a bar in it. Now we're down on the ground. So now we're going to stick the bar in it one more time. That makes our cables super loose. But we have these vice grips applying weight to keep our cables from unspinning. So now we can take out the section. time you want to take a bottom bracket off is if you have no tension to it.
Oh yeah. Okay. Second section, just like that. Such a nice day here today in Austin. My battery is going to die. I feel it. Hope you guys can see with this head cam. It's a head cam for my camera. Or for my phone. And uh, works really good. My camera phone. I love my camera uh, on my phone. Alright guys, so there's the bottom. Take that second section. Flip it in there. Just like so. Flip your end hinges down. And then, um, I mean you can do two things. Scoot it over flush and hinge it back up. Or you can pull the tension, put the door back together, and then hinge it all together. Just whatever way works best for you. screws I'm looking for. Alright, we got the two new sections in. Um, before I raise the panels back up, I'm just try to scoot it over and get it lined up as best as possible. It looks pretty straight, center style. Let's take your bar. and reapply that tension. You may have to, they don't go back together sometimes, so you gotta kinda wiggle it. There you go. Got my bars out. Make sure my cables are on my drums. They are. I'm gonna unlock it. Vice grips off the cable. I scripts off the cable. 
little bars back. All right, and then screw it together. Okay, not screwed back together. grips off that was holding the sections up for us and that's it guys we got two new sections in safely I did miss a screw always look at your hinges because you might do that forget one so always just glance make sure they're where everything's where it should be perfect yeah, these people hit the door with the car. It happens. So now it's nice and closed. Raise it up and down. Looks good. Kind of a killer color. That'd be cool. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Change out two sections on an eight by seven flush panel door. Till then, peace out.